So a 2-1 jam for Tornado Alley is announcing for those who are keeping score at home. So it's a brief timeout to check the scoreboard because uh, this is competition and on the rink, so it's an opportunity for them to make sure that everybody is tallied. It says it's 9-3, to three. and period number one looks like you've got – and they've got they have a screen up on the wall for us to be able to see. In fact, we're going to zoom back over so you can kind of see what they're tallying right there. So it's 9-3 with the 580 Roller Girls. So it still says 9-3 with about 27 minutes here in the first period. There will be two, and they'll have a 50-50 drawing. And I think we'll be set to action here shortly. All right, looks like we got that scoreboard fixed, and we are starting jam three. Moving into jam three, we have number 16, running scarred versus 99, aerial assault. Running scarred, using that power to straight up the middle of that pack, picking up the And a whistle. They've uh, had some great opportunity to explain a little bit what's going on. It's now 13 to 3, and so she's explaining that I know that you're a little understanding about the rules. So that's why we need all the help we can get. In fact, to be able to help me out on the mic tonight is Christy Chambers, who actually had a five-year stint of this. Oh, CC, yeah. CC is what the CC Roller right, is what you what you went by? Yeah, number 10, CC Roller, watch out. It was a lot of fun. Well, we got started, and it looks right like 580 Roller girls kind of start off with a 19-3 to three advantage right now. And so you're going to kind of help us sort through all this with understanding the game and playing for five years was it yeah i actually started out on bank track if you guys are familiar with the old school bank track with a group in oklahoma city called the red dirt rebellion it was a lot of fun Ooh, molly mate you maker is going in she's making some points she did in the first uh, jam as well so she's really i, I noticed in the spring she's really the go-to you know everybody's got their go-to and she's been that she just, you know what, there's something called jumping the apex, and it's like at the round, and I've seen that woman with her long legs jump over that and pass <laughs> up five players. It's been amazing. All right, look at her go. Sometimes when there's a whistle, you'll be able to explain what those are because I, I really couldn't commentate when they have stoppage of play. But. Well, sometimes they'll throw an elbow, elbows aren't allowed. Oh, see, she hits her hips. That means she's calling off the jam. The only way you can call off a jam is if you're the lead jammer. Lead jammer means you broke through the pack first. Okay. And we've seen her do that once already. Oh, really? And now it's already 35 to 16. 
And basically, what you know, you and I were talking off mic about uh, how they tally this is just the the points, most points at the end of the match is the winner, right? Yep, yep. And the way you make a point is by passing a player. So the first points that can be made are be passing the blockers. And then if you circle around and you actually lap a jammer, they count as a point too. So it's all about passing the opponent, and that's a point. So they whistled, and she got through it, so I guess she's the lead now yep, for this the, jam. The, the one in the white. White with a star, yeah. Yeah, do we have a, the program here? Um, I'm sorry, I didn't grab one, so we'll maybe get that at the half. <laughs> <laughs> right. They whistled that, so I don't, is that call off the jam or? Yeah, that, they, she called it off quick. Sometimes it's better if you call it off early. So if you break through the pack first, you make your initial five points. Actually, when you break through the pack, it doesn't count until you lap around and each player that you pass counts as a point. So you have to break through to actually like start the point making. So it's like the initial like time to start making the points. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> See how they just break through? Yeah. All right, so 580, number 16, is the lead jammer right now. Oh, she got a penalty, the jammer from the other team, from Tornado Alley. And you can grab your opponents. You can use them to whip around, you know, where they call whip it and stuff. That's, you know, that's you grabbing your, your teammate and using them for momentum. Now, what did you like to do most when you... I like jamming the most because you? you go the fastest. It was really fast when you're on a bank track. And tell us the difference of the bank track to this. Okay, so bank track, you actually are on a a, a track that's lifted up. And we had, a, I think it was called Masonite in, in plywood, of course, and, and, and just really well built. Uh, actually, the track that I skated on was one that was uh, in the... Whip It movie that Drew Barrymore directed. So they they rented our track and and filmed that movie on that track. She went to her hips there, so. The other thing is the uh, public address announcer is kind of uh, if she had a show of hands. So how many people had never been? And there was some hands up that they had never been to this before, and they really didn't know. So she's trying to educate them as well as, as the rest of us who don't know. Right. That's why I was so, so happy that you could ha and join us so you could kind of tell a little bit in between of what's going on. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. I, I, it, it is confusing at first, especially your first one and watching it. So I'm glad you're filming it, or, or glad you're doing yeah. the live streaming of me. And it's just, you know, you can at least get an understanding Ooh, of it. And see. A little battle, there we go. Yeah, so if Molly had gotten pull, pushed out right there, she would have had to go all the way, skate back. And sometimes a blocker will skate back and, you know, prevent you from getting back in the pack. So see, she has to go all the way back. Or she should have. She didn't get called, oops. Uh. <laughs> Good thing I'm not a ref. Uh -huh. <laughs> I know that they do a lot, in the, and I've seen this on their social media, about training for this. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, they're in the weight room. They're, uh, they're doing what they can. And, and we mentioned in the very beginning of this broadcast, uh, they have been taken out for two years because of COVID. We were right. excited to do this a couple of years ago. All on board. They were excited. We were excited. And then it shut down. And then the next year, uh, they just played it safe and didn't have it either. Mm -hmm. So this is really their first time in a couple of years to be involved in this. And being able to do it about. Yeah. Woo! Oh! Sweet hit from 580 Walker, not quite enough to be a far fight. All right. All right. How much so time do you think is, uh, is, is actually Whoa. Ooh, oh. big collision with practicing? How much time? Yeah, how I much mean, time do you devote into? I used to practice two hours, three days a week. Okay. But they do a lot of cross training too. All right, Tornado Alley calling it off. But yeah, two hours, three days a week. And then if you do some cross training, I mean, that's on wheels. And then if you do some cross training, I, I would spin. I'd go on spin classes and stuff like that to help with cardio. Yeah. Weights were probably better. I didn't do a whole lot of weightlifting. <laughs> <laughs> 
I like speed. So Christy Chambers, our Number guest nine, announcer nine. for CC Roller is what her, you know, it's, I guess that's the biggest thing about it is getting your name, right? Oh, and yeah. Picking your name. Picking your name <laughs> and, and, and owning it, you know. And then sometimes you get to pick your number. I, you know, it, it depends on what oh. if you're in the beginning. Like, I was one of the original, uh, what they call me, an OG with the 580. So I was one of the original founders of it. And so she, when she does the hip, she just calls it off. And yep. Now, what's the strategy of that, calling it off and, and when you want? You got your points and then you're good with that? Or? Yeah, yeah, sometimes, especially if you're way behind, like Tornado Alley, what they should be concerned with is just stacking on points and calling it off. So if they get lead jam and they're able to call off a jam, because the only way you can call off a jam is if you're the lead jammer. Okay. So and they had that like once or twice. So. Yeah. So their goal right now should be getting lead jammer getting there four to five points most likely four and just calling off and just slowly you know cherry picking that the, those points off and then that will prevent any points being made by the, the 580 that would be my strategy at least and molly again lead jammer yeah she's a fighter so she's she has scrappy. to go through that wall mm -hmm. okay. see she she got out and went around. You see that? See that. Mm -hmm. So they're trying to push her up. Yep, smart, smart. Because she called it off when she saw that jammer coming around, about to make points. She was like, calling off. Your guys aren't going to make any points right now. Okay. It's smart play. Well, that's the thing is now they're, now this is getting to the aspect of the, the strategy involved in this. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, there's. Like a 40-point lead. It's 71-31 right now with 17 minutes left to go in this period. Mm-hmm. So it looks like 580 Roller Girls playing it smart right now with the strategy and the points. Yep. And then look at them. You see how they're, they're kind of holding arms? Yes. And that's – is that half pint? Oh, yeah, that's half pint. She's, she's a vet. She's been part of 580 since the beginning. Wow. Well, she's a hard hit. She looks small, but she's not. She mighty. Oh, she's small, but she mighty. <laughs> And see how they're backing up. So all those that got popped out and all those blockers backing up because they're, like, trying to make it harder on them. Harder to make points. So she's calling a face hit and a knockout. And, that is, of course, we're just kind of following. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. See, that's smart. She called the she called about before. I mean the the match. I couldn't think the jam. <laughs> it's been a minute, Eric. Yeah, it's, it's okay. <laughs> it's all right. Because it's never been a minute for me, so it's it's good that you're here because I I couldn't really take on the responsibility of trying to educate our viewers for those who are joining us for the first time. When Tornado Alley, uh, those shared that for those who couldn't make it are watching live. Trying to put this up on Facebook and on YouTube and on the network. Everywhere, everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. You can just so look free at her to download. Through. Look at her go. Okay, Tornado Alley's getting there. Nope. Oh. All right, sparkly pants. What's what's her? No, 33. One thing you want to focus on when you do fall, you do not want to put your hands on the ground to push your back self back up. You got to knuckle down, or people will roll over your fingers. It sucks. See, number four on Tornado Alley, she did really good. She did a lot of toe work there to get around and not get pushed out. So she's not the lead jammer, but she got through that pack, and she's looking to make some points right now. So hopefully she can get past these people and make some points. Woo, look at her use her hips. Yeah, see that. The she collision made, down below. Yeah, she already made two points. She passed two people even though they pushed up, but now she made two more. Oh, what did they call? I don't even know what happened. All right, she made three points on that jam on Tornado Alley. All right, so chipping away at that lead. Mm -hmm. she, she was a fighter. We got to watch for number four, and she's up and coming. Got 78 to 33 in favor of the 580 Roller Girls with 15 minutes left to go here in period number one. Glad you could join us here live from the Great Plains Coliseum. 580 Roller Girls here live on the Oklahoma Sports Network. 
Those who are on Roku, Amazon Fire, and Apple TV watching from your home, we invite you in. Go, fight it through, fight it through. Woo. Okay, she's going to have to go behind. See, she reset. It's such a struggle as a jammer when you have to reset and going out of bounds and you have to go behind everybody again. So there's no jammer right there at this point. There's a, nobody in lead right now. They haven't okay. even broke through the pack yet. Right. So 99 with Tornado Alley's trying to break through and 88 with uh, 580's trying to break through right now. Oop, she just done a little spin off. So 580's in the lead, lead jam. A little half pint, she's gonna be feisty, watch this. Okay, we had somebody in the, the penalty box there that just came back. Ooh, she came in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> so penalty kind of like in hockey where there's penalties and players have to go out. Mm -hmm. and, and what do they, they have to go out for? Uh, you know, if they push, if they pull on them and elbows, hit them in the face, um, sometimes you don't even mean to do it, but you'll still get called for things because you just, like, when you fall, you might, like, flail your arms and throw an elbow to a face. Of course, it's an accident, you know. Oh, sure, sure, sure. sure. I didn't mean to. Oops. <laughs> I think like any penalty for any sport, they really didn't mean to, right? And they yes, just got exactly. called for it. <laughs> yeah. It's like, what are you talking about? I did what? Aw. So what would it take for you to uh, suit back up? <laughs> <laughs> Two new knees. <laughs> Two new, okay, all right. At least you're honest. As we age, we, uh, this is a. Uh, it's a rough sport. Well, yeah, leave it to the younger, younger generation to take the torch, huh? Yeah, man, I played roller derby when I was like 35, and that's pretty, you know, that's yeah. old. Let's <laughs> get it. Old for roller derby standards, huh? I guess not anymore. I'm no. kind of curious about what the average age is these days. Okay, they're waiting. So you see the, the jammer is in the penalty box. You see that over there. And so that means okay. they can't score points. And... Um, we see Sweet D. She's making a yeah, that's an original 580 vet there. Hi. Um, but anyway, so see, I, I'm glad we got celebrity on the mics. See, everybody has to stop and get their picture and autograph taken hey. from CC. I don't know if they'll get that, but we'll try. <laughs> 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 no, we've we fought for this derby, man. It was a lot of fun in the beginning. It's still fun now. That that banner that you see over the home of the 580 Roller Girls that that was one we made. Yeah. Yeah, that track maintenance. I noticed that they had to stripe that back. They got some tape out, and mm -hmm. I guess it kind of came up. Well, they used gaff tape, so it should stick to anything, they say. Woo, she popped out. Who we got here? Who is this? This is, oh, Sugar Bullet. 83 is a lead jam with 580. So they can't even make points. The, oop, there you go. Tornado Alley's jammer just got released. So now she can make some points. Oh, and she's about to pass the, do you see how she took off? We call these uh, the helmet um, um, jammer panty. The helmet covers are called panties. Don't, don't, don't right. judge me. I understand. Oh, Ooh, yeah, battle. Nice there you go, jammer there. battle, jammer battle. Watch, 580's going to call it. Watch, she's going to call it before the, the, here you go. Whoa! Oh, Call it wow! See, there she called it. She called it right Had before. Had the collision. Yep, right before the other jammer came up. Because she was making sure that the tornado alley didn't make any points. That was smart, smart move. Well, you, you got to be a smart skater. You got to know what to do and when to do it, right? It's I mean, situational it's awareness. You got to be known all you know, like. Really you know, us women. A, I'm sorry, Eric, to say this, but us women can see things behind our head, in front of you know, <laughs> all, all around. So. Yeah. And that, and you get mother's intuition. Oh, yeah. You know, they, they know if you're eating cookies when you're not supposed to because mm -hmm. they got eyes in the back of their head. Yeah, I got you. Yep, that's not, what you got to be to be a roller girl. 93-35 is the score of the 580 Roller Girls with 11-14 here in the first period. Oh, they keep messing with that jammer, turning it on. Okay, she's taking off the panty, the jammer panty, so she might throw it, maybe. They're really, they're really playing a lot with that. They're taking off the panties. 
That's the helmet cover, by the way. They're not literally taking off their panties. Right. That's just what we call it in roller derby. Okay, she's taking off you again. You gotta speak the language. Ooh, what a, and that's what I've seen before her. She's just so good at that. Mm -hmm. so they're about to be too far from the pack. They're about to be too far from the pack. If you get too far, if the blockers are blocking the jammers so far out, away from like the pack, they'll they'll uh, they'll have to release the jammer. What Molly, meet your maker is is that she's good at finding creases. I saw that in the well, spring. Look how small she, she is. <laughs> yeah, she just she can she doesn't want to go through there. She kind of finds a way around there. Mm -hmm. Look, look, she, yeah. she, she's a sneak attack Pick kind of person. speed, yeah. All right, so Molly's still the, the lead jam. Oh, who is she? Is she skating against? Who's 30? Is that Mac? Ooh, ooh. Ouch. Yeah, that's concrete, by the way. Mm -hmm. yes. It feels great. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I don't care how many pads you got on, that's still concrete. There she called it off. Hey, I'm getting to know it. When you go okay, to the hips, you so, see. Uh, 38, that's an elbow macaroni. She used to skate for the 580. Oh, so now mm -hmm. she's sk skating for the uh, the enemy. Huh? Yeah, Tornado Alley. Yeah. She actually, uh, so Tornado Alley is a B team of Victory Dolls. Okay. And they're out of Oklahoma City. Okay. So there's two then teams from Oklahoma City? So, Victory Dolls has an A team and a B team, so 580 okay. is playing against their B team. Okay, I got gotcha. you. And they call themselves Tornado Alley. A fantastic time for us is this a timeout? I didn't see it. And do they have timeouts? Yeah, they totally do. I don't know how many these days. Well, they've stopped the clock and they've had timeout. So, we may take a timeout as well. And we'll be back to action right here on the Oklahoma Sports Network. When it comes to your home, you need someone that you can trust to keep it safe and protected for you and your family. Vesta Foundation Solutions is your local, family-owned company that has helped many homeowners fix and protect their homes. Our engineered solutions can take care of all of your foundation repair, basement waterproofing, concrete leveling, and dirt crawl space repair needs. We take pride in getting the job done right, and you'll always be protected with up to a 75-year warranty. Contact us today for a free estimate. All right, back to action already after a quick timeout. All right, so Tornado Alley is the lead jammer. Ooh, she made some points, and she called it right before the other jammer came up. So that's the strategy is getting those little chipping away at the points and making sure that uh, – you start making some points to get ahead. Now, you know, it looks like, uh, you know, 109 to 43. You don't know what's going to happen, but it's kind of like basketball. It's just like all of a sudden points okay. just start producing. So you have those little swings mm -hmm. of momentum, yeah. That's why they'll they'll switch out on jammers for the 580. They'll, they'll put, like, Molly Meachmaker, who's, like, the, you know, first line, and then they'll put a couple of the other, you know, you know, second and third line and just get them experience because, you know, the only way you beat the jammers by getting in the bout. Ooh. All right, so 5A is the lead jam. And they're really battling in that poor jammer. It's nice that you have the official that's kind of uh, showing the lead. She follows and has the hand up Oop. for it. Oop. Right. So she got, yep, she got knocked out. All that work, yeah. yeah. It takes a lot of work, I tell you, to get through these jams. So all that work for just a couple points. Yeah. But as you can see, every point counts, and it makes a difference. Do you uh, take an ice bath when you're done after these? Yeah. Are you uh, banged around quite a bit? 
You look black and blue yeah. afterwards, champ. Yeah, where people start questioning when you go to work. <laughs> what happened to you? You know what I found to be the most useful thing when I was in roller derby? Arnica. It's, a, it's, it's one of those health food store things that you get, and it makes all the difference. So after a bout, you take some Arnica, and you're good to go. Ooh, Ooh nice little throw down there. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm trying to learn the names of these. Okay. Shock Dolia. Oh, Smack Dolia. Okay. First power jam. Now explain that. Our first power jam. What's that going to be? That means that there's no other jammer to compete with. So she's getting all the points. That means. She's powering through all, all of them, and no other jammer can uh, make points. She just did it. So where are we at? So we got, she already made her four. So her team's lining up on the side so they can start power hitting through and getting her through there. You see that? And now she's going to have to reset because she got pushed out, and then she's coming back around. There we go. So her team's supposed to help her through. So they're. Five eighties from the box. Oh, five eighties out. Five eighties out. She, you know, if I was Tornado Alley, I'd be calling it. I'd be calling it. Somebody needs to be communicating. This is where your teammate needs to be like, hey, call it, call it, call it. But I don't know if she got. I don't know if she got lead jam or not. So she might have to roll out this jam. Yeah, whistles here. That's a tough two minutes there for. Okay, so the power jam. She wasn't the lead jammer because the lead jammer got pushed out. Does not call off the jam. A jam will run its natural course, which is two minutes. Two minutes. Okay. Yeah. It is a long time. You wouldn't think two minutes is that long, but it is. It's kind of like doing planks. Oh, wow. Think about doing planks for no. a minutes. That's no fun. Yeah. Okay. Power jam. Nope, no power jam. No, no, no. Regular jam. All right. So we got the lead jam. We're going. 580s leading. We have several. We have two. Uh, oh. We have one um, player in. In the box for 580 and one in for Tornado Alley. Smart play to Called it call off. it off. So it's 118 to 55 with 413 left to go. So 580 Roller Girls started this, uh, you know, just kind of, you know, I know this is a sport that's been around, but, you know, how did it get started out where someone came up with the idea of, hey, let's do this and make it make it a group? Like to do? To start the 580 Roller oh, Girls. Oh, the 580 yeah. here? Yeah. Yeah, oh, okay. Huh? Um, oh, you see how far they are? They're too far. They're too far. The refs should be calling that right there. Um. It was, I, I was skating, I'd been skating about two years with Bank Track up in Oklahoma City, and I just heard rumors of these girls that were asking, um, there's like flyers at Hot Topic and all these other places, and I was like, oh, there's just people trying to start flat track, let me see what I, what they're doing, and uh, we, we got together, it was two army wives, actually, they never played before, they just heard about it, Right. so I called them up, it's like, you guys really want to play, you really want to do this in Lawton? And uh, we started the 580 Roller Girls. They had a, a huge group of girls that were interested. We went to a roller rink in, um, where was it? It was somewhere in BFE, Oklahoma, <laughs> like yeah. towards Duncan. <laughs> and it, uh, it was like one of those old school wooden uh, roller rinks. It was a lot of fun. And uh, we did the orientation there. And I think we had like 30 girls in the beginning. It was amazing. Hmm. 
and then we just start figuring out where to ha uh, where to practice. And they're about two minutes away from halftime. We'll take a break, and we'll also have a special feature that uh, we put together to explain a little bit of roller derby. And so we talked with them after that spring break, and so we'll have that as a feature. You can catch that on our YouTube page, but we'll have that at halftime as well. They did stop the clock here, so it didn't run out with the time of a little bit of a rest. Looks like there was a timeout called, and... Glad you could be joining us here on the Oklahoma Sports Network. Presentation of Roller Derby, the 580 Roller Girls. In action here for the first time in a couple of years here at the Great Plains Coliseum. You can download us on your Apple and Android devices for free. Search the Oklahoma Sports Network. Find us on Roku, Amazon Fire, and Apple TV. Also YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. We're creating a Roller Derby TikTok this Everybody evening, which we'll be able to post here in a day or so. Pushing through. Oh. Okay. Looking for some offense from her blockers. Okay, she passed the panties to uh, Elbow Macaroni. And if the 580 jammer knows who she's up against, she might call it off. Because Elbow will power through. Down she goes. Uh -huh. But she can get pushed out. She made her points. Elbow macaroni into the box on a oh. power jam scenario. Okay, we got another power jam. Power jam for 580. They're going to make all the points. Watch the out. So she's going to... Um, so they're looking... So you see like some of those blockers put their arms out like a T. They're just trying to keep the pack connected. So it's a good strategy. They get too far apart, then the refs tell you to release the jammer. Whoop. Whoop. There we go. Big collisions. Yeah, Final minute nine here in this period. 134 to 64 as 580 Roller Girls on a roll. Okay, so Elbow's back. Off. Smart. Did she make any points? Nope. Mac wasn't able to make any points off of the Tornado Alley. Forty-seven seconds. I think they'll just let this one fly down. No, sometimes you can get some points in thirty seconds. You never know. Come on, come on, come on. There you go, Tornado Alley. Yep, oh, oh, half pint needs to let her go. All right, so Tornado Alley's lead jam right now. Tornado Alley's really battling their jammer. Oh, the jammer just got put, put in the box, so it's power jam right now. So they're going to go for the full two minutes, I guarantee you. If I, was, if I was Tornado Alley, I'd definitely go for the full two minutes just to get those points. Come on. So they're about to... The 580 is holding one of their blockers for them because if that blocker would come back to her pack, it would create a separation and let then the refs would tell 580 to let that jammer go. So there's there's all kind of strategy happening there. See, and then they go all the way back, so that jammer has to come all the way back around and fight again. Okay, the jammer's back in from the 580. Ooh, they're battling. All right. I think Molly got got a penalty. She's going to the penalty box. It's really hard to tell what kind of penalty they get, you know? There's no sign language for that. You'll see it at the end of the bout. All right, I have time. Storm Chaser's back on the 
Okay, so the main objective for Tornado Alley is just to make sure that that jammer on the 580 does not get through. So it's almost like you you basically leave your jammer to make the points because you don't want any more points to get on the board by the 580. So, like Tornado Alley right now should be, you know, calling it. I would call it, but since I got the other jammer out of the box. See, right there, she should be calling it. Oh, that was a jam. So it is halftime. I'm going to put 15 minutes. It's a halftime score as the 580 Roller Girls have a 134 to 72 lead here at the Great Plains Coliseum. Of course, we've got our feature about 580 Roller Girls and a little bit of a break. And with back with Christy Chambers, we want to thank a nice ice baby as sponsoring both this match and the one next month, the two home matches here at the Great Plains Coliseum. We'll be back right after this on the Oklahoma Sports Network. We fight the battles no one hears about. We drop into the middle of firefights to rescue others. And act as one-man air traffic control towers. We're the ones who go before all others. Join the fight. Coast Technology Group is your full IT managed service provider, utilizing simple, reliable technology for your home and business. Remote monitoring and management, network infrastructure, and cybersecurity, all with 24-7, 365 day live support. When you partner with CTG, you get the 150 years combined experience of our experts, helping your business grow while keeping your system secure. doesn't know what roller derby is can you give us a brief rundown of it the best sport ever i that's like first off best sport ever um it's a place where you can go and hit your friends and not get in trouble who doesn't love that you have four blockers on the track at a time and a jammer on one team you have two sets at one time sorry so two sets of five and your jammer is going against your blockers trying to get through every time she passes a jammer's hit or a blocker's hips she gets a point so your goal is to get in front of them without getting hit out. But our job is to make sure she doesn't do that. This season, our biggest goal, sounds really silly, is just to play. We have come off of COVID and we have not had a home game um, in almost two, two years. Uh, so our goal this year is to build our team back up to be able to have enough skaters to have home games and skate. Um, so this year we actually have two, two games. So that's our big goal, just to get through and be able to compete again because two years is a long time not to hit your friends. <laughs> so one thing we are really looking for in particular this season are always new skaters, uh, volunteers, reps. Like I said, we're trying to build our team back up from COVID. We have probably about six to eight dedicated skaters and we need 12 to 15 so, I mean, we're always looking. We have two home games this season at the Coliseum. Um, we're super excited. The first one, they're both on Saturdays. The first one is March 18th, and the doors will open around 5 o'clock. Game whistle will be at 6. Um, the second one is also a Saturday, May 27th. Same time, same place. So come check us out. Uh, ticket prices will be $10. Trackside seating is $15. That's where the action is. Um, and then we'll have military discount at the door with proof of ID. Kids 10 and under will get in free. The earth is 70% water. And 30% land. The entire sky belongs to us.
from different backgrounds with diverse interests and unique learning styles. Finding classes that fit your individual needs isn't a challenge at Cameron University. A small campus and dedicated faculty ensures there's always someone close by to guide you on your journey. Your success is our success. Your education is our mission. At Cameron University, you're not a number, you're part of the family. Sidelined by surgery, illness, injury? Valor Physical Therapy can help. At Valor PT, our skilled therapists create a rehabilitation program individualized for you with education and encouragement each step of the way. Whether it's sports or the activities of life, let Valor get you back in the game. Start now at 405-265-6449. No referral needed. Mention Oklahoma Sports Network and get a free t-shirt at your first appointment. When it comes to your home, you need someone that you can trust to keep it safe and protected for you and your family. Vesta Foundation Solutions is your local, family-owned company that has helped many homeowners fix and protect their homes. Our engineered solutions can take care of all of your foundation repair, basement waterproofing, concrete leveling, and dirt crawl space repair needs. We take pride in getting the job done right, and you'll always be protected with up to a 75-year warranty. Contact us today for a free estimate. We fight the battles no one hears about. We drop into the middle of firefights to rescue others. And act as one-man air traffic control towers. We're the ones who go before all others. Join the fight. Well, they're doing a chuck a duck right now here at the 580 Roller Girls here at the Great Plains Coliseum. Yep, they said if you brought two canned goods, you can get a, a duck to chuck to win the prize. I don't know what the prize is. Did you hear what the prize was? Uh, I think it's a prize pack of toys. Uh, she didn't really mention specifically what all was in there, but you know, so. Well, we've done this from the beginning of, of the 580. We've always done chuck a duck. It's kind of a tradition. Now. It is. I want to thank Nice Ice Baby, sponsors of this match and the next one to come. They have two here at the Great Plains Coliseum. Christy Chambers, uh, better known as CC. CC Roller. CC Roller, and uh, she had five years of 580 Roller Girls. And uh, so when we were talking about calling this, since I don't know the rules and all the ins and outs, I said I need some help. So. I'm so glad that you put that on your past resume that I knew that you were once a, a participant of it. Uh, right now it's 134 to 72 for the scores for the 580 Roller Girls as they are in their lead for their first debut in two years. We saw in that feature that COVID shut them down for the last couple of years. Uh, Case and Troutman's here for the Oklahoma Sports Network doing a TikTok. We'll do a TikTok of the Roller Girls. Uh, and we're trying to expose ourselves to a whole new audience. So. If you're unfamiliar with the Oklahoma Sports Network, uh, we uh, usually high school sports stream all sports all season long. We just got done with basketball and the state championships. We still got some soccer left. We got soccer next week. We'll have some baseball. But basically, you just go to our website uh, at oksportsnet.com. You can find us there. Uh, also, the best way to get you on the phone is to download the app. So Apple and Android devices, just search Oklahoma Sports Network. It's free to download, free to watch. We're also on Roku, Amazon, Fire, and Apple TV. We're on YouTube. We're on Facebook. Yeah, you can find us pretty much on any social media platform. So as halftime concludes, we'll come back to action after this timeout as we are proud to be the 580 Roller Girls at the Great Plains Coliseum right here on OSN1. We'll be back right after this on the Oklahoma Sports Network. We 
fight the battles no one hears about. We drop into the middle of firefights to rescue others. And act as one-man air traffic control towers. We're the ones who go before all others. Join the fight. We come from different backgrounds, with diverse interests and unique learning styles. Finding classes that fit your individual needs isn't a challenge at Cameron University. A small campus and dedicated faculty ensures there's always someone close by to guide you on your journey. Your success is our success. Your education is our mission. At Cameron University, you're not a number, you're part of the family. Coast Technology Group helps you feel safe and secure utilizing simple, reliable technology. Allow our team of experts to help you design the right system with high-definition surveillance cameras, cutting-edge smart alarm systems, and thoughtfully designed access control for your home or business. Work, sleep, and play with confidence, knowing CTG is your technology partner. Sidelined by surgery, illness, injury? Valor Physical Therapy can help. At Valor PT, our skilled therapists create a rehabilitation program individualized for you with education and encouragement each step of the way. Whether it's sports or the activities of life, let Valor get you back in the game. Start now at 405-265-6449. No referral needed. Mention Oklahoma Sports Network and get a free t-shirt at your first appointment. When I'm flying, I put my helmet on, my visor down, my mask up. You don't know who I am. Whether I'm African American, Asian American, Hispanic, white, male or female. You just know I'm an American Airman. Kicking your butt. I'm General CQ Brown Jr. Come join us. Where sports is our middle name, we are the Oklahoma Sports Network, and it is a presentation of the 580 Roller Girls until the wheels fall off, established in 2010. So glad that you could be here. Congratulations uh, on a successful start of a new season. First one here at the Great Plains Coliseum. Nice Ice Baby, our sponsor, title sponsor of this match. First half in the books. It's a 134-72 to 72 lead for the 580 Roller Girls. But, you know, this is where you get halftime. And, you know, in any sport, it's kind of like, well, you, you can't take the foot off the gas for the first half, so you got to keep the tenacity. Do you have the strength and endurance to keep going in the second half? Talk about that endurance between the first half and second half. How tired are you as one of the, one of the girls? Oh, yeah, you're worn out. It's, uh, it's, it's definitely something that you've got to work on your cardio. I mean, of course, it's, it's strength is important, but cardio, and whenever you do those power jams, you want to make sure that you're going to stay true and able to take those hits and get back up and, and roll on. Um, but it's, it's, a, it's an endurance training that you have to go through. But when you're at halftime, you're thankful for it. <laughs> you, you might. So you what, what, is, uh, what is, I always ask this, uh, you know, when we kind of break this down from half to half. If you are coaching the Tornado Alleys uh, girls, what, what are you telling them at half what they need to do? Well, just like I was saying earlier, you know, you got to chip away at them. You've uh, you got to make sure to make a priority of uh, being a uh, the lead jam. So you're going to tell your blockers, get your jammer through, and then push that, get that other jammer to either foul out, so they all of a sudden it turns into a power jam, or just get that lead jam, make your points, go that first round, make your points, and then call it off and just chip away at making those points. That's that's what I would be doing as a coach. Okay, now if you were coaching the 580 Roller Girls with a 134-72 lead, what are you telling them? Well, that's a good one. I would definitely be still playing my first string, second string, third string jammers and just rotating them through so that way you can get your other jammers that are in second and third string, getting the experience they need in this bout situation or I think they're calling it a game right now. 
but uh, and, and make sure that everybody gets the experience they need. Now, when you start seeing that they're catching up, then start putting your, your first string in and getting those points up. But giving your other, you know, second and, and third string uh, uh, people out there and playing, because you know how important it is. The only way you know how to play the game is get in there. Right, you can practice it. forever. But if you're not in there battling it yourself, you don't know what, what it's like until you're just, like, right there doing it. And it's nothing like you would ever think. Going to practice and doing all the, the practice jams and doing all the regular, uh, you know, exercises and stuff like that, it's it's nothing like being in about your, your ball of nerves. You're, like, trying to figure out which way is up, especially after you get waylaid uh, by somebody twice your size. <laughs> And, um, but everybody's in good spirits uh, whenever you play a team. Like right now, I know that there's at least one player on the Tornado Alley that used to play for the 580 Roller Girls, uh, Elbow Mac. And uh, so it's, it's just a good sport. It's a lot of fun. Just make sure you keep your elbows in, you control your skating, you don't go flailing your arms and going all crazy and stuff. But again, you know, that's just a matter of getting in there and uh, getting your skates wet. So who, <laughs> who got you... Uh into it how did how did you get started for you where did you find the fascination to get started i just saw a flyer up in um oklahoma city and was like hey that's something that's interesting Sound like fun let me yeah. get on some skates and beat up on people yeah yeah let's see let's see how this goes yeah yeah <laughs> i think it was like 34 or something i don't know i was probably too old to be doing it but i did it and uh had a lot no of fun. regrets no regrets ever yeah, okay. no regrets you yep. know go big or go home yeah and I went big. I went straight to Oklahoma City. That's where I saw the, the flyers and stuff. Never saw a bout before. Went to my first practice. Went out there and. How good were you on skates? I mean, you know, this is not an area that is really familiar with a lot of skating naturally. You know, like, you know, we, we did have skate arena. There was some rinks here for a while at different stages, but. Uh, pretty much, uh, you know, it's you got to get used to being on skates too, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and and being knocked around while on skates. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, it's not just staying up and no. skating. It's uh, all the and, and then the other thing is too, just like every aspect of sports, there's a mental aspect of it because you say, okay, they should be calling it off now, and you mm -hmm. got to talk with your teammates. It's it's not just get in there and and, and bang around. It's uh, you know, it's, it's communication. It's points, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's points, and it's ensuring that you're using your energy towards the best efforts of what you guys are trying to accomplish while you're while you're on the track and um yeah it, it was it was a lot of fun it was uh definitely an experience i'll never regret and uh i recommend it to anybody it, and you know what it does they're still looking for girls too by the way go ahead oh oh uh, yeah yeah, recru yeah. The recruiting. Right, recruiting yeah definitely well, it looks like they're about to start up again. Getting ready for action. We'll put 30 minutes as what a typical half. So uh -huh. it's really an hour of banging around for these girls, and they've started. Mm -hmm. Second mm -hmm. half action with the 580 Roller Girls in lead 134 to 72. See, they're trying to hold those players back. Okay, so this is a power jam. So we got lead jam by by um, Tornado Alley. So they're the 580 Roller Girls jammers in the box. So here's here's the time whenever. The uh, Tornado Alley needs to protect their jammer and get her through, get her through. Chip away, chip away is what I was talking about. Oh, 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 there's separation happening. See, she's holding on her arms, trying to keep them together. Oh, the 580 jammer's back. Okay, I would call it, I would call it, I would call it if I was Tornado Alley. Let's see what happens. Maybe I'm too old school. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's conservative ways See, of playing she there. Called she called it. it. Yeah, yeah, she did. I saw that. Mm -hmm. She read your mind. That's what you got to do. You don't want another team making points. I mean, they're already Well, that's what you said, you know, chipping away at that lead. You got 30 minutes to do it. It's uh -huh. not insurmountable. It's possible. I mean, we, you know, it doesn't seem like it, but believe me, one thing can happen, and then all of a sudden, like, there are lead jams in the box, you know, so many jams in a row. It's like, well, that'll, that'll get you two minutes of making points. Their names are so fun. Yeah. Woo! Lead jammer, Tornado Alley. So back to back and a little bit of momentum coming for Tornado Alley as they start the second half. They're about to have a separation issue here. They're gonna have to release the jammer, okay. Okay, so Tornado Alley should be protecting their jammer right there. Ooh, let her out, let her out. Molly's gonna get her out. Yep. See, so she has to get in behind. There you go. Smart, smart. Ah, oh, she didn't see that girl got. That's okay. 
So when they start this next jam, which I would be pushing it hard if I was the Tornado Alley because they can be doing a power jam because the 580 Roller Girls jammer's in the box. We will start this next jam for the second half in a power jam for Tornado Alley. They have Reckoning taking that power jam jammer position. It hurts when you fall. Oh my gosh. Okay, they're building it up. They're five days building that wall. And you see, they do two man walls, two man walls, and uh, just like falling in to keep that that uh, tornado alley jammer back. But she got through. And is there, you know, the lines, the pink lines, is that kind of like out of bounds? Yeah, yeah. So those are the, you that's the stay track. within the track, yeah. That's the flat track. Those are the, the um, boundaries. You've got to stay within those. So they get pushed out. they got to turn around, reset, come back in. See, that's too far out. Good job, good job. So Tornado Alley, she saw the other jammer coming around to make some points. She was a lead jammer. So she called it off before that 580 jammer came around to make some points. We said the slow chipping away at the lead is now 134 to 79. Mm -hmm. 26 minutes left to go here number in the second period. Would you like a water? This Thank is you. Aaron. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron. Thanks, Aaron. <laughs> Just at the. Oh, nice collision there. Oh, look who slipped through there. And see, like the the turning rally should be focusing on the the 580 jam. That. that Preventative, you know. Don't let those points happen. You see the 580? They're building that wall. That jammer can't do anything. Oh, but she passed the panties to the pivot. So the white stripe is the pivot. Okay. So she's getting through. All right, Tornado so Alley got through, got through. Oop, oop, oop. Molly better get it back. Molly. I can't believe they didn't call Molly on that. Molly, bad girl. <laughs> she knows better. Is that the, where you say they're letting them play? <laughs> it's hard to catch everything as a ref. Yeah, there's a lot. I mean, because there's a lot of bodies on the floor. <laughs> and they're all together. I mean, it's yeah. not like a lot of separation like you see other sports. Yeah, mm -mm. Officials timeout. Oh. oh, they need to talk about a call. Maybe they got your call. <laughs> Game maintenance, fix the track, anything like that. Kind of like very much similar to soccer and rugby. It's uh, running clocks, basically. Uh -huh. Oh, look at that jammer. Whoa. All right. So they got, they got Molly back out. Is that yeah. Molly? Yep. Yeah. Crowd got excited with her play. Yeah, she's very um, Oh, that's, she slipped she's through crafty. there. Very nice. Very crafty. Crafty is very good to describe her. Yeah, she um, she can see holes that nobody else can. Yeah, and it's her, team will her let court her vision is good. Yeah, her team will just let her go. They won't even fight for her. Wow. Uh, it's like, what's the point? Let her know? do your thing, yeah. Yeah, because they'll... Um, She'll find a seam, a crease. She'll find it. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, they're going to pull her back. They're going to pull her back. Took a big collision there. Uh-huh. 
That was a huge pack separation there. Ooh, Max gonna get her. Ooh, no, nope, she missed her. Yep. Molly's always been notorious for running the two full minutes because she can make those points. She'll rack them up. All right, we got one of the tornado alley blockers in the box. Whoop, another 580 in the box. Woo, there you go. Elbow nose, Molly's techniques. But she, she gets right back there and yeah. she doesn't wait, you know, there. That's the thing. It's like, where does she get this energy? Now she calls it off. And she'll go over to the bench and mm -hmm. get a little breather. Yeah, but the thing about Molly, she's always been like a, a force to be reckoned with. I've skated against her a couple times in practice and it's like hitting a tree trunk. So I think she works a lot on the core. <laughs> <laughs> She got only a little, no. Huh? So we're kind of zoomed up on her, and she just wants a water. She goes, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, 33. Oh. She's doing a, she's doing a tiptoe thing. Ooh, go, 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 go. Woo! She's not out, so she can go, she can go. Here she goes. All right, they got a, they got another 580 blocker in the box, another one released. Mm, there she goes, there. 33 is getting through again. Woo! Yeah, I would have called that one out. Crowd yep, starting to get call, a little bit. She called that jammer out. I saw that the Tornado Alley jammer was, she pushed her. Skate out, out of bounds. All right, we got two blockers, one from 580, one from Tornado Alley, and the Tornado Alley jammer in. So it's a power jam. Well, the thing was, uh, the 580 Roller Girls had like 134 stuck there for a while. They're up to 162 now, so they really racked up some points in that little series. 162 to 85 is the lead for the 580 Roller Girls with 20 minutes left to go here in the second and final period. Glad you could join us here on the Oklahoma Sports Network on Roku, Amazon Fire, Apple TV. Also, for those who are watching on Facebook Live, uh, give us a like. Like and follow us, share. That way you'll know what sport, sporting events we are at next. Uh, 5 lead jam right now. Number 83, Sugar Bullet. So it's a power jam right now because the uh, Tornado Alley jammer's in the box. Whoa. Oh, that was a nice move. She was through that like butter. Okay, now they got the other jammer back on. Let's see if she can make any points. Whoa. No. Ooh, that looked like that hurt. Yeah, we were following the jammer, so we didn't get to see what? the... Oh. the other jammer. That's right what we call jammer on jammer action. A collision, yeah. <laughs> oh, Sugar Bullet's getting put in. So it's a power jam, no lead jammer, which means she's got to go the full minute. Now, minute left, so she's got to go a whole minute. That girl, I hope she, she worked her cardio this week. She's going to be beat up. Okay, they got one of the blockers out, so that's good. Her, ups her chances. She only has three blockers to go through. Ah, here we go. All right. All right, she's got a power jam. Come on, make those points. Chip away, chip away, chip away. Go, 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 go. See, elbow Mac helped her out. Call it, call it, girl. Call it. Tornado Allen needs to be calling that right now. Oh, but she's not lead jam, is she? <laughs> See, I didn't know. I, I, no, I'm following her, but she's not the lead. Okay. Nope, I forgot, I forgot. So she, they, she's got to go for full time. So they got 24 seconds. Make some points. Get up there. Get up there. There's too much separation there. Too much separation. Come on, Red. let him go. Let him go, let him go. She kind of reversed and got in her way right there, huh? I know, I know. Sometimes you skate backwards and push, push at them. All right, love. six, five seconds. Come on, make some more points. Here we go. Up, oh, it's done. A lot of points scored on both sides, they say. So it's now 170 to 93. Mm -hmm. 18 minutes left to go here, and the second, final period. Nice Ice Baby, title sponsor for 580 Roller Girls for both competitions of tonight's action and then one next month as well. So mm -hmm. we'll be back in action. 
Okay. Oh, oh. It looks like 580 is leading. Oh, the Tornado Dolly is right behind her. Ooh, I like it when the jammers are neck to neck. This is oh, so yeah. much fun. Yeah, yeah. Then you can battle them. It's so much fun. Like 302, I'd be messing with the 580. Whoa! Oh, oh big spill it. there. Yep, she got hit. She got waylaid. She's like, I'm done. That's the thing. You know what? It's just like a little bit of angling and just hitting with your hip just right. You can knock somebody down like you wouldn't believe. You never knew. You never knew until you're on skates with momentum. That guy is uh, helping with the track. And they stop the clock here. This must be a timeout. Kind of stay up here on the girls for 580. Yep, did you notice how they switch sides? I noticed that. I was going to ask you that. I said, uh, so yeah. is that common? I guess you were yeah. where you were in your chairs. Uh, you just switch. Now, mm -hmm. basketball, they'll switch ends of the court, football, ends of the field. But I've never seen the benches change. Mm -hmm. But that's what they did here. Yep, they totally switched them up just to give, you know, fair, fair bout advantage maybe. Casey Troutman, our photographer, has got a video uh, highlight uh, going on right now during the huddle, but that's going to be featured on one of our TikToks. So we're not done with the 580 Roller Girls. You know, you get a penalty if you put too many players on the, the track. Okay, so how many is on each team? Uh, so four blockers, one jammer. Okay. So if there's one too many on there, the refs can call it. You'd be down a blocker or a jammer. See, I like it when the jammers get rough. Alley. Objective oh. should be getting your jammer through right now. That block, that pack should be like doing nothing but focusing on her since they're that's a power power jam right now for Tornado Alley. Come on, get her through. So they're fighting for her. See, they're trying to crawl around her. Do you see all that? Oop. Oh. So you have to raise their hands up because you do not want your fingers on the track. Oh, my. Yeah. It hurts. I've had bruised nails I don't know how many times. Wow. Oh, oh the other jammer's back on. Oop, and there she goes. And she made lead jammer. So the 580 is in lead after coming out of the penalty box. So that means that the 580 kept that Tornado Alley jammer back. So here we go. Oh, oh. 580 making another wrap around. Think she should call it here or no? I don't know. Why? Okay. There's no point. She's she got called there, so now it's power power jam. She has full control. And she's a lead jammer, so she can call it. She's already made four points. Oh. Now both the jammers are in the box. So she gets to the box and the new jammer will fit, the old jammer will be released. So now releasing the other jammer. An official coming over here. What's what's the discussion here? I don't know. It's like they're both bad. <laughs> okay. Got two of them in that penalty box, huh? Yeah, but they should be releasing one of them. Can't use the forearm is what they're saying. We have to use our torsos, our legs, our shoulders, our back for hits and roller derby. We cannot use anything from the middle of the bicep down. So you can do some shoulder check-in. 
We okay. do hip checks. So 175 to 95, 580 Roller Girls lead with 1445 left to go in this second and final period. Glad you could join us. Glad that the girls could get back out in action. I know they were excited to get back on the rink uh, as opposed to beating each other up. They had the little spring fling thing that we had not too long ago and talked a little bit about that. They were excited to kind of get the stuff in action. And they had some people invited out here to the Coliseum, so those who follow Roller Girls. Give us a like and a share on Facebook for those who are following us there. More dancing, please. <laughs> well, there is some music that just right, plays, and the timeout is called and now back to action here. So they're going to start the pack. And then once the pack passes the penalty box, the uh, jammer right, from Tornado Alley penalty should be able to start. To and it'll be power jam for her. And hopefully she can break through this pack and get lead jam and start chipping away like what we were talking about. Sweeping, her, sweeping, that, sweeping that pack out for her. Oh. Half pint has always been feisty. See, and they're doing another sweep to try to help. You'll see how they're. You see how the her pack is trying to sweep away the 580 pack. See, 580's got a great defense. Look at them. All right, the other jammer's lifted, which means she'll probably get lead jam. And poor Tornado Alley's got um, no points. Ooh. All about being able to take a hit and not being moved. So, all right, one of the blockers from 580 is in the box. So we don't know where the panty is. Who's the jammer right now? She do the YMCA. Does she? <laughs> she did around the corner, yeah. Okay, so I don't know. Who the, oh, oh, Elbow Max now the jammer for the Tornado Alley. Yeah, she'll push through. Yep, watch out. They're gonna they're gonna separate them too much, too much, too much, too much, too much. You gotta let her go, guys. Yeah, it is. Guess we need to get you some stripes and you can go out here and call this. <laughs> Good call, good call, because Mac will power through those people. So I think Mac got four points. And I don't know how many the 580 get. So Tornado got, I think, four points on that one. 580 should have got like eight, I think. So it's 191 to 95 now. So nice little comfortable lead mm -hmm. with 13 minutes to go here in this contest. And they're feeling it because the 580 roll the girls. Oh, they're getting everybody to do the yeah, YMCA yeah, the now. The whole crowd's into it. <laughs> yeah. Let's make it a family Woo. event. Whoa. Half Pine got her down. I'm telling you, she might be small, but she's mighty. And she'll fight to the end. <laughs> Look at her go. She needs to stop it. She needs to leave her alone. Look, Half Pine's just like, what, what? Got to keep going. Got to keep going. Let's go back. All right, we've got Lee Jammer. Oh, they called it. Now, I notice they do a lot of switch outs there. So I guess that just keeping fresh players. You know, there's some that come off and some come on. You give them a rest because they're not doing the full 30 minutes, right? <laughs> right. Well, and it's good to have, like, a good roster. Yeah. And obviously, Victory Dolls has a, a pretty good go. roster, or they wouldn't be able to have a B team, uh, Tornado Alley. So they're giving their, their B team all the experience they need to be able to possibly move up to the A team. So here we go. All right, lead jam by 580. Oh, we got a breakthrough with Tornado Alley. So we got two jammers out, out of the pack, so they can all make points right now. 
Okay, number 16 is going to power through. Whoa, nope, she's gone. Thrown out. Oop. She's calling it. She called smart it. Smart play, smart play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because then otherwise that other girl she could made have some snuck points, by though. and then get there, yeah. She made two points, though. She did. Mm -hmm. Well, you got to count the one in the box. They'll count that. So if you pass the pack and get through, they'll, they'll count the ones in the box towards your points. Whoa, oh, 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 Lee Jim, Lee Jim. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> get up, get up, get it. Woo! Proud That's going now. One. That's a good one. Yeah, but see, she's Lee Jim. She'd be, she, if I was Tornado, I'd be calling it. She just let it go. Oh, but at least she's making points. She got on the board, though. She got on the board. They broke, they broke tri triple digits. They should be 101 right now with Tornado Alley. But then the 5 eight just broke 202 with probably wow. 202 is yeah, what I think. Okay, so it'll be Let's see about a 100-point difference. Yeah, there, was, there it is, yep. the 101. And got then, it. Did the 5 eight make any points? They should have made some points. Huh. Maybe I guess I was they wrong. did not. You got theirs, but it's 198 <laughs> to 101. With 9.55 left to go here in the second quarter. Second half. I don't know if the Tornado Alley can pull this off. Oop, elbow max through, got the panty, she's a jammer. We got two blockers in the penalty box right now, so Elbow's got some free reign to really power through this pack. And um, who's she sk skating against? Oh, 33 with the 580. Okay, so, yep, Elbow's gonna make it. She'll make some points. See, and this should be the, the whole objective of the Tornado Alley pack should just be like, they should, their objective of fashion should have been the 580 jammer, not letter third. So she just packs through the pack. That means that the two that were in the box were counted. So she, she's making points easy. Okay, so they got all the blockers out. That was a good jam. She can't figure out her panties. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. <laughs> you have to adjust them. Yep, adjust, oh, then she lost her. Yep. So, um, again, the panties are the helmet cover. So we have the striped helmet, which is the pivot, and the star helmet uh, cover is the jammer. The jammer with the star is the one that's making all the points, they hope. Oh, okay, there you go. Lead jam by Tornado Alley. Half pint going to beat her up a little bit. That's how 580 rope. Watch out, Molly. You're too far. Too far, girl. Too far. <laughs> yep, Molly's to the box. What did I tell you? Yeah. She, should, she likes to play too much. Oh, how kind it's going to give a little hip check here. Watch out. Mm. Call it, call it, call it. Uh, Good job. It. Good job. I don't think 580 got on the board that time. Nope, they got zero. They only got two. Chipping away at that now. Mm -hmm. 202 to 112 is the score with 740 left to go here in this contest. You just got to love their attitude. So you see how they're all just playing around, having fun. Yes. And they got the crowd into it a little bit too. You know, they were kind of doing the YMCA when that came up, and so. And it's just a nice reminder. You know, every every person that's out here right now is volunteering. Nobody's making money. Wow. Not a single person is making money. Wow. It's all volunteer based. All they want to do is come out, have fun, play for their fans. Yeah. And just make the best of it. They did the the whole you know collecting cans for the food bank. That's part of their altruism, you know, initiatives that they do. It's yeah. important. It's important. It's important. It's part of it, Eric. <laughs> well, you know, and the give back and the community and, you know, like you said, that's that's good for people to know, you know, and you do it for the fun of it, you know, and kind of love that. Yeah, well, it just gives you more buy-in for them because, you know, nobody's making any money and, and it's to, it goes towards a nonprofit. 580 set up as a nonprofit, so they're 501c3. 
I don't know what VD's set up for, the, the Victory Dolls, if, how they're set up, but I know 580's set up like that. And that's how we set it up. We just wanted to be able to, you know, play and support <laughs> our community. We are back to the action in the remaining seven All right, they're about to start. Game. We'll see who gets the lead jam out of this one. 580 or the Tornado. The 202 pass. to 112. Call 580 leading it. All right, come on. There you go. All right, lead jam by Tornado Alley. All right, see, Tornado Alley's doing the right thing. They're holding that jammer back, but as they should, as they should. So they're going to do a separation there. Whoa. Oh, man. Molly got <laughs> into the box again. All right. If I was if I was Tornado Alley, call it. Oh, nope. The jammer got put to the box, so now it's a power jam. But the 580 is a power jammer right now, and they're not lead, so they got to roll this whole what's left of the jam one minute. It's like 106 left, so she's just got to keep rolling and making those points. Oh, they're gonna. See, see how far, see why 580 stayed back? Because if they stay, if they stay back, then they have to release them. The, the Tornado Alley has to release that jammer because you have to keep the pack together. Okay. A little insight we not familiar with. So. Well, that's when they always do, spread their arms out like a T. Yeah. Because they're trying to keep their, the pack together to um, uh, allow their, their blockers to battle the, the jammer if they can. Well. There's some all, all right, so Tornado Alley's back on the track, so power jam's over. Got 13 seconds, Great make some pass. points. Come on, Tornado Alley. Power through, power through. Ooh, 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 ooh. Come on, come on, come on. My favorite part was going the inside line. Oh. It's done. I can tell you right now, everybody's worn out. Yeah, you can, you can definitely see the, <laughs> the energy's down. <laughs> energy's down from the first, but you know we're five minutes away from ending this. Right. You know, and it's you know right. it's like an hour worth of skating with a little bit of timeouts. And so Tornado Alley calls timeout. We'll take it with them. We'll be back right after this on the Oklahoma Sports Network. When it comes to your home, you need someone that you can trust to keep it safe and protected for you and your family. Vesta Foundation Solutions is your local, family-owned company that has helped many homeowners fix and protect their homes. Our engineered solutions can take care of all of your foundation repair, basement waterproofing, concrete leveling, and dirt crawl space repair needs. We take pride in getting the job done right, and you'll always be protected with up to a 75-year warranty. Contact us today for a free estimate. So they got a full, full pack and two jammers. Still almost about 100 points separate. 218 to 116 with 436 left to go in this contest. Yep. It's confusing because the jammer has her, her helmet covered, the panties as we like to call them, 
in her hand. In her hand, just, I see that. Yeah, that must be a new thing. I mean, you could you can pass off the panties to the pivot, but to hold them like that, it's kind of kind of different for me. But again, I'm one of the OGs. <laughs> All right, so we got Lee Jam. Oh, she called it by the 580. She made four points and called it. Sugar bullet. Flip this around. We have about 350 left to go. We want to thank Nice Ice Baby, our sponsor, for bringing you this contest for both tonight and the next match at the Great Plains Coliseum. Yep, say hi. Hi. <laughs> Doing all kinds of social media stuff. I'm gonna have some fun with it. So Christy Chambers, better known as Cece Roller back in the day when she had her five years of experience. There we go. All right, Molly Meachamaker broke the pack. She's Lee Jam. Ooh, it's what she tornado, does. Yeah, she, what she does does well too. Yeah. I don't know what position she doesn't do well in, in <laughs> the whole gamut of 580. But our roller derby. Oh, look at that! Oh, 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 oh. oh. Look, she look, got she caught up in the jam. She should probably call it because that jammer's getting through. But nope, not Molly. She wants to battle it. You know, Molly hates running. She's not even really? a runner. You think she looks like a runner? She oh, yeah. Like to run. But you can tell she likes to skate. Ooh, she just, you see how she just cut through that pack? That's insane. She kind of comes out of nowhere. I mean, you know, there's a big collision, and then all of a sudden she just squeaks through. I think it's kind of like skiing when you go snow skiing. Yeah, that's true. If you look at the trees, you're going to yeah. hit the trees. I think all she's seeing is the other side. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she called it there because she fell. Or she's seeing the MVP. Or the jammer with the most points or something. You know, so there's, there's another thing she's focusing on. <laughs> That's That's some points that there to make it 236. 209 left to go is the final minutes here at the Coliseum. Tick away. 580 Roller Girls, they call a timeout. Clock continues to roll with a nice, comfortable lead. Nice Ice Baby and our sponsor. Waving to your fans, says <laughs> Cece is doing yeah I, I guess my... you can kind of say it's kind of a family family event family uh -huh. fun there's a lot of kids here they did the little chuck a duck thing yep to benefit the the lawton food bank that's true they're doing recruitment do you know when their next recruitment um session is did you I'm see not, that i'm not sure i have to so look that we're up always you know? recruiting oh so yeah I, like I mean as you can see that the 580 roller girls aren't a really Pictures big there. um they don't have a whole lot of uh, on their roster and the tornado alley do but you know they have oklahoma city have a lot more people to pick from we're, we're only like a hundred thousand here right but um if you're interested in doing it just follow 580 roller girls on facebook and they always post their events that are happening Meet and greets, um, recruitment events, learn more how you can help. I mean, you don't have to skate. You can go and be a ref, or you can be a, um, any of these volunteers that you see with clipboards. They all have a task to do. All right, so we've got Molly as a jammer from the 580. Who's jamming for Tornado Alley? Oh, oh, we got 32 with Tornado Alley. Can't see her name. But she just broke through that pack like Lee Jammer, like she owns it. And it's going to be Jammer and Jammer action. Watch out. That's the best. And it's what? Oh, it wasn't Molly. My bad. It's 33. Sparkly pants. <laughs> oh, oh, there you go. Oh, she all old school called it off. She went head to hip, head to hip. That's old school. Minute 30, a nice comfortable lead for the host 580 Roller Girls with a 236-118 lead over the Tornado Alley in the final 118 and counting. 
they take a victory lap when they win? What do they, they do when they win? Mm -hmm. So they, um, so the team that wins, they um, get on the track and they go around, and all the fans go down, and you, oh. you get to do the high five with them. It's okay. a lot of fun. You can't go on the track itself, which right. is don't cross the pink line. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't cross the pink. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! So we got a lead jam. Turn nope, nope. Who got it? Nope. Tornado Alley got the lead jam on that. All right, so 33 and 37. 33 with 580, 37 with the Tornado Alley. If I was Tornado Alley, I'd call it. Mm, she's about to make some points. Here we go. Nope. All right. I guess Tornado Alley just wants to build up those points. I get it. I get it. All right, 15 pushing, the, pushing them back. They got some defense going with the 580. They, they don't play around. Mac trying to push the jammer through on Tornado Alley. Oh, oh! See, and that's a mistake sometimes when you're with the when you're jamming. You don't know if you're a lead jammer, and you saw the 580 there trying to call off the jam. She wasn't a lead jammer. It was the Tornado Alley that's the lead jammer right now. So a minute left in this jam. Nine seconds. And, uh, okay, so they'll let it go. The last, last jam of the game. Yeah, so just play it out. Two minutes. Yeah. Play it out. That's right. Get loud. Get loud. Hey, and everybody, if you guys want to go have some fun with the film Roller Girls later tonight, go to the uh, back porch on Gore. They're going to be all out there. Okay, Tornado so just called after, it. So the after party, huh? Yep, they're doing an after party. Looks like 580 took it home. That's it. 244 to 126, as unofficial. they say, the unofficial score. Yep, they haven't totaled it up after that last jam. Okay, now they're going to say about the high five track side. Mm -hmm. Get down there and they're doing a little, their little chant till the wheels fall off. So the 580 girls take one home for the home opener here at the Great Plains Coliseum against the Tornado Alley, 244 to 126, the official score. We'll see. All right. A little victory lap and the high fives as they say congratulations, girls. Mm -hmm. They put on a, a really, really good game. It's like what you call, what, what do they say that in football, like the iron, iron side or what, what is it called when they play both sides? Um, where they play offense and defense. Yeah, off, well. yeah, they don't have any relief, so they just keep rolling them in. All right. I don't know, there's a football term. I can't remember what it's called. So even a little good sportsmanship as the girls yeah. high five the others. Yep, and then now it goes through. And from the Oklahoma City, Oklahoma area, Tornado Alley, yep. doing their high fives as well as the fans got a little bit of some fun for the first time in a couple of years as COVID had a shutdown for this sport and we were anxious to get with them two years ago. We stayed with them and we said, when you get back up, we'll be back up. I am so thankful that you've joined us so you could help us navigate through this sport, know it a little bit more. I hope you had some fun with it. I We're did. This is a good Hopefully get you back again uh, the next time around when they have one more here at the Coliseum. Uh, so we want to thank uh, Nice Ice Baby as our sponsor, title sponsor, for bringing you uh, this presentation. And we want to thank the 580 Roller Girls for their participation in allowing us to be able to live stream here uh, their event. You can always go back and watch this after an hour after this is in conclusion. It will be up on archive, and these stay up for about a year. So if you missed any of the action or if you'd like to watch it again, you certainly can do that. For CC Reuter, for myself, Eric Sherum, bidding you a pleasant good evening. It's the 580 Roller Girls over the Tornado Alley, 244 to 126. You've been watching a presentation of the Oklahoma Sports Network. <laughs>